Oh, welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And as you all know, we're going to be carrying on with Adventure Mode today, and we're going to be getting the final two purple CTR tokens. And then once that's finished, we're going to start doing the time relics. Now, uh, before we get into the video, have a look at this. The Grand Pro, the Gra the Grand Prix has released today, because uh, I am recording this on July 3rd. You're probably watching this sometime near the end of July. But yeah, I'm recording this on the day of release pretty much. But yeah, Activision and Beanox have released the first Grand Prix. Now as you can see, this is pretty much similar to what happens in like Fortnite when you buy, you know, you buy the Battle Pass and then you slowly earn rewards. Well, what pretty much happens is, as you play through the game now and you win races and you finish races, you are gonna get nitro. And then as you get more and more nitro, it's gonna fill up that gorge and you are gonna unlock cool little items and stuff, you know, stickers, characters, and things like that. Now you've also got a selection of challenges that you can do as well. I think you can also do those in single player and they will also give you additional nitro. Now, as you can see, you've got the bronze tier, you've got the silver tier, and you've also got the gold tier. And as you can see, there's like a cool cart you can unlock, new set of wheels, new decal, couple of characters there. You've got a Tauna Bandicoot's uh, racer skin. You've also got a sticker of Tauna Bandicoot. If you come back here, if you get to the end of the bronze rank, you can unlock Tauna Bandicoot. It looks like they're gonna keep the characters somewhat low in the tier list, you know, so it's very easy for people to get the characters but then like additional skins for that character are gonna be more up in the gold tier. Now you've also got something else you can unlock. <clears throat> I'm not sure where it is. Ah, now uh, to unlock the champion cart, which as you can see, that is an absolute fucking beauty. To unlock that, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> to unlock that, you need to come in the top 5% of the world, whether that is in how much victories you've had or how much nitro you've, uh, you've like built up, you know? So if you come onto the Nitro leaderboard, as you can see, there's people that have already got 19,000 Nitro, and this only released nine hours and 43 minutes ago. So there's people already living on here, so getting in the 5% of the world is gonna be uh, quite the challenge. But if you wanna unlock the champion cart, that's how you do it. You have to be in the top 5% of the world, either via winning lots or via collecting lots of Nitro. So obviously, if you've got a job, you know, and you've got commitments, it's gonna be very hard to do it. You know, if you're somebody that's unemployed or you're rich so you don't have to go to work, you're gonna have a big advantage. You know, but the poor schmoes like me that have to go to work and go to bed early and shit, <laughs> we are fucked. But you never know, you never know. But yeah, let's uh, go back to the adventure mode now and let's carry on. Now, uh, as you can see, got my beautiful hard mode save right there. I think I already mentioned it, but I managed to finish the game on hard. It was absolute agony. Almost destroyed me mentally and physically, but I did it. <laughs> yeah, but we're gonna be going back to medium and we're gonna carry on getting the CTR tokens. Now, we already did the one in the first and second area. Now, the one in the second area, that is the one I always have the most trouble with. I managed to do that in the last video, so we shouldn't have much trouble with the last two because I think they are somewhat easy. I know one of them is in like a sort of like in a Cortex castle sort of courtyard and there's loads of like nitro around and stuff like that. So that one is a bit of a pain in the ass, but the one that's in the final area, I think that one might be quite simple actually, if I remember correctly. But if you go onto the main menu and you go into the uh, arcade area, there is actually um, a bunch of additional crystal challenges that you can do. You need to do them if you want to get the, the platinum trophy, but uh, they are, Oh, we don't want to go that way, but they are very, very easy. The ones in the nitro cart area are really, really easy. Pretty much everything in this game involving nitro cart is easy, you know? Like, I've been doing the time trials recently, focusing on mostly doing them, and when I was doing the CTR tracks, it was absolute agony. I was having a horrible time, but as soon as I got to the nitro field ones, uh, the nitro cart ones, everything was really easy. Like, they were still a bit of a challenge, but they were way, way easier than they were on the CTR tracks, you know? So, yeah. So when you do the crystal challenges, it's the same thing. You've got the ones that are from Crash Team Racing that are a little bit difficult, they're not too bad, you know? But then you've got the nitro cart ones that are an absolute breeze. 
Okay, Rocky Road. Now this is the one I mentioned maybe two videos ago, or maybe it was the last video, where I said you had to do like a spiral to collect all of the crystals. So this one is somewhat easy. I think the last one we're going to do is the one that's in like the Cortex Castle courtyard. But this one's pretty simple. You want to do like a whole circle, get all of the ones on the top of the rocks, then uh, do the ones where you have to do like little jumps up the ramp, and then after that you just want to do the ones in the bottom area. This one should, we should get this done in one, maybe two. So it should be pretty easy. I forgot that there was nitro around. I didn't know there was nitros around here. <laughs> so that's, that's going to throw a spanner in the works, isn't it? Right, so we're going to come this way first. Just try your best not to miss any of the crystals, because, you know, <laughs> pain in the arse if you do. Obviously, we can't get that one just yet, but we're going to come down here. We're going to get this crystal over here. Make sure you use the square, because it is a lifesaver. Then we're going to... Ah, shit. We're going to get the ones up here now. Like I said, I'm probably going to foul the first time. All right, let me just restart. But we're going to pretty much go up, go round, do those ones in the middle, go across that bridge, come around, do the other ones, then do a jump to get the one on that ramp that we went past, and then we're going to do the ones in the bottom area. I shouldn't really get a boost, you know. <laughs> Obviously, I need to be quick, but if I, if I go too quick, I'll end up crashing into all of the nitro crates. But yeah, just utilise that square button. That's the thing that's going to save the day for you. So, because otherwise you'll crash into the wall and then you've got to try and turn around and it's just a pain in the butt. Oh, piss off! <laughs> I barely touched it. Okay, now we're going to do these ones over here. Now we're going to follow this around. Okay, now we can concentrate on the ones down here. Whether I'm going to do it or not, I don't know. I know I've left one up in the top area. That's a big mistake. Yeah, I might not make it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, there we go. We just did it. We just bloody did it. <laughs> Whew. Whew. I got, got a little bit sweaty then, Wolf Wolf. It's got a little bit sweaty, you know? A little upper lip sweat, you know? And a little bit on the old chest. I've actually got my bloody top undone. I apologise, you know? I'm, I'm practically like one of those uh, thoughts from Twitch, you know? They get their, get their tits out for views. Here you go, Wolf Wolf X. Here's a thumbnail for you. You like my cleavage, do you? You want to subscribe now, didn't you? And uh, donate to me on Patreon, didn't you? Because I've got my boobs out, you know? <laughs> oh. Oh, lovely. Five. Fucking five nitro. Are you shitting me? Five? <laughs> What's five nitro going to do? If that's how long it takes to get nitro, then fuck it. I don't want to unlock anything. I ain't got that amount of time. It's so irritating having the job that I've got though, you know, because like I said, I don't spend the entire day at work. I don't have a nine to five job. You know, like I said, I work from four in the morning to about, what, about seven, you know? So it's like three hours, you know? And soon when I get my new job, I mean, by the time you watch this video, I've probably started my new job, but I'll be working in there for about five or six hours. But it's always like either very late in the evening or very early in the morning. So I do generally have the whole day, but that's the thing, I don't, thanks to YouTube. Even though I'm playing games, you know, it's not like I'm playing games for my own satisfaction because when I do these games on YouTube, I've already I've already finished the game most of the time and I'm just purely doing it for you guys and girls. I think the only way that I could really make YouTube useful for me in terms of being able to actually play video games that I want to play and have more time with my games would be if I start doing blind playthroughs. But then I don't, I don't know, I can't commentate the same in a blind playthrough because I feel like I need to shut up because I want to listen to the characters because I've never played it before, you know? And then I'll feel like I don't commentate at all, so... Not the best situation. Now, uh, this one I'm probably going to do really badly in. It's, it's, it's because it's like, a, it's like a courtyard and it's a maze. And then there's loads of nitros and TNTs everywhere. So you want to like concentrate on doing the edge, then start going into the in middle, middle bit and then right into the centre. But it's because of the TNTs and the nitros that are all over the place. Gonna go directly forward. 
Now these are going to be the things that save your dive. But yeah, I'm just going to concentrate on doing all of the ones on the edge first. I had to switch my nose then. I thought I was going to end up crashing into something. <laughs> yeah, but this is the kind of one where you, you find most of the crystals and then uh, you end up missing one and you don't know where it is and you start flipping, running around trying to find it. I shouldn't be crashing into all of these, uh, these nitros and stuff, but I feel like I just do it quicker like this. Oh, I shouldn't have hit that one. Come on. Right, I think we can go into the middle now. Now we want to try and start doing the ones in the corners. Oh, come on, Crash. What are you doing? Oops. Right, we're halfway through, and it's only been 40-ish seconds. So, judging by that, we should be all right. I mean, when you think about it, I'm crashing into things constantly, you know. And I'm, all, I'm still doing somewhat all right, you know. I've still got quite a bit of time left. So that's an example of how simple it is, really. Right, I think we can go directly in the middle now. I think they're all, like, really close to each other in this bit. Only five left. Yeah, we should, we should be able to do it, shouldn't we? Obviously, when you do this yourself, don't play as badly as me. I'm just worried that I'm going to end up bouncing over this hedge and then I'm going to have to drive all the way around and foul. <laughs> there you go. That was bloody easy, wasn't it? That was really easy. This one was the other one that I used to have trouble with. This one and the one we did in the last video in like the ruins sort of area, the rocky place. Those were the two I always had a bad day with. The one we did a second ago and the first one we did, those ones I never had a trouble with. It was these two that I could never finish when I was a kid. Flip it up. Five. <laughs> Five. Ridiculous. Five nitro. But I need to get like 20,000 nitro, deny to unlock everything. Whew. Now, uh, if you are worried, that because these, these Grand Prix's that are going on at the moment... Um, they go on for a limited amount of time, and then once they're over, all of the things that you can unlock, they vanish. So if you don't unlock them, don't worry, because I think what Activision have said is if you don't manage to unlock things like Tauna Bandicoot and all the uh, new costumes and stuff during the whole month that this, like, this Grand Prix goes on for, then uh, I think eventually they're going to add the things into the pit shop. So eventually you will be able to actually get all of the things, but you'll have to wait a lot longer if you don't unlock them now. So, you know, if you want to get something, try and get it now. But if you don't manage to get it because you're busy at work, you know, or you want to play other games or you're out with your friends or whatever, then you can still get them, just you're going to have to wait until later. I'm not 100% sure if that is confirmed, but I think, I think that's what they said. Right, so what we're going to be doing now, we are now going to be doing the time trials. And we're going to start doing them in this video. Now this is going to be where I start getting really angry. Even though most of the time trials are pretty easy to do, you know, when you're just focusing on getting the Sapphire Relic. Because that's all I'm going to do. All I want to do is get the Sapphire Relic. I'm not too fussed about getting any of the gold or platinum ones, you know. I just want to get the Sapphire Relic. So that's all we're doing so we can face Nitrous Oxide a second time, you know. So we're going to focus on all of the um, time relics. Then when that's done... We're going to go into uh, the gem cups. We're going to do all of those. And then once they're done, we're going to do the two additional time, uh, time trials that we can do. And then once that's done, we should be able to face nitrous oxide for the final time. And then adventure mode will be 100% complete. And then we can go and start doing some online multiplayer and stuff like that. And we can start participating in the Grand Prix. It's going to be annoying because by the time you guys and girls see me doing the Grand Prix, it's probably going to be over. <laughs> I'm literally going to start uploading content of the Grand Prix when it's already over. And they've probably started the second one. So I'm going to be a bit behind, unfortunately. But, you know, never mind. It's only because I'm doing Days Gone as well. Like, I finished I finished recording Days Gone ages ago, you know. But because there's so many episodes of it, you know, you're going to be watching it for a good portion of July and August. Right, I guess we'll start things off with Crash Cove. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to switch over to Crunch Bandicoot. Where is he? I unlocked a ri- Oh. Oh, 
cool. Actually, let's have a look on here then. Yeah, look. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, so some of the costumes are unlockable. Oh. Oh, cool. Hey, so what's that plus 15%? Does that mean I'm going to earn additional Nitro if I use that character? Oh, yeah. So, so yeah. So, they've, added, they've actually added a lot of new... Oh, look. Here's all of the new girls. <laughs> Liz. Isabella. Obviously, the legend Tauna. Yeah, so look, you actually they have they've added new stuff into the game. I've, these are these are the characters I ain't unlocked yet, but they've added new characters into the game that you can still get in the pit shop, and then you've got like the uh, characters that you only get from the Grand Prix. So they've still added new stuff to the pit shop as well. So that's pretty damn good. So you will be able to get some cool new things. Oh, nice. Oh no, these are the old ones. Oh no, these are the old ones. Never mind. But yeah, that one with Cortex is definitely new. That's that one's definitely new. That's cool, isn't it? Look at that. That is a fucking nice costume. Almost as cool as the robot one. All right, I'm getting distracted. But yeah, I'm going to switch over to Crunch and I'm going to put his Rottweiler uh, skin on. Right. Now, the reason why I'm picking Crunch is because I've been playing quite a lot as Crunch in my own playthrough, trying to do like the, the really hard time trials where I want to beat uh, time you can, um, Nitrous Oxide and Entropy, you know, so I've gotten used to playing as Crunch. So we're going to play as Crunch. Now, uh, these are a lot, lot, lot easier than doing the uh, time trials that are in the arcade mode. They are a lot harder and trying to beat Entropy. These are somewhat a breeze, really, because I, I wasn't very good at drifting and I pretty much did all of these, so... I should, I should probably, I'm probably going to get a lot more gold ones, to be honest. I mean, I could end up failing because I'm getting cocky. But yeah, like I said, we're going to focus on getting them all. Obviously, the, the, the when you do the time trials in, uh, when you do the time trials in um, the arcade mode, another thing you need to remember is you don't have access to any of these crates. It's pretty much just a straight up normal race, no power ups, no crates to reduce your time, nothing. It's just pure skill, you know? You still got the boost pads, but that's about the only boost you're gonna get, you know? So, uh, it's a lot harder. These are very easy compared to them. I'm getting a bit distracted. Whenever I do these time trials, I start panicking a little bit. It's hard to, it's hard to commentate, you know? Like, what's, what do I need to get? I need to finish this in 1 minute 17 to get the Sapphire Relic, and that's all I'm going to be aiming for. And as you can see, I'm only on 25 seconds. I need to make sure I go up on that boat, really. But you can do this, you could, you could do these ones with whatever character you want. That's why I like these ones. Like, I, I enjoy these ones. I feel like uh, if these were the ones that were, like, if these were the main ones you had to do, I mean, you do get a trophy for getting all of the relics, you know, but if these were the main ones you had to do, then the game would be a breeze, you know, but they're not, unfortunately. Like I said, the time trials you have to do in arcade mode are way harder. They're an absolute nightmare. But look at that, see, I wasn't even really trying. But you can see an example of the kind of bullshit you're going to have to do to get gold. <laughs> and to get platinum, it's probably worse. I'm going to assume that Crash Bandicoot's time is the one you need to defeat. Oh, look, you got my old time there. Man, look how much quicker I was. <laughs> see what I mean? You can see how, better, how much better I've got. And seven seconds is not a little bit, you know. That's quite a big chunk. And I wasn't really going that hard, really. I was pretty much just casually gliding around. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, hell yeah. See, this is the perk of me doing, like, my uh, YouTube videos on my main account. I also gonna, I'm also i going to get some of that Wampa coins. And at the same time, I'm also going to get Nitro as well now. <laughs> Lovely. I'll see how many I can get done in this video, though. I feel like I'm supposed to stop recording now, aren't I? Yeah, it's been 20 minutes. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I think I'm going to... Yeah, I think I'm going to end it now. And we're going to carry on with this next time. Man, you are a handsome devil, Crunch. But yeah, 
Thanks for watching Wolf Wolf Vets. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Sorry I spent so much time talking about like the Nitro, uh, the Grand Prix stuff and all that, the Nitro stuff and all that. I just wanted to explain it to you guys and girls just so you know what's up. The problem is by the time you see this video, you probably all know what you need to do and how it works, you know, because by the time you see this video, it's probably nearly ended. So yeah, apologies, but I'm just trying to be helpful. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share and join the pack today. Oh!